Hello guys and welcome to episode 29 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we're really starting to get rolling. Um, we defeated two large armies of the Prussians at Brussels just now and um, I think honestly we might be able to push back and take Amsterdam. Like counterattack, a lot of their forces are going to be quite weakened and we can go and take that for ourselves and that will be a really good place for us since not only will we get another college but the forces coming from Prussia to us have to go past Amsterdam. Have a look at our technology actually. The college in Salamanca has been raided which is unfortunate. Not much I can do about it though. What we're going to do is repair the Palacio at Real de Madrid. Not sure if we need to repair the other stuff just yet, so I'm going to leave it be for now. How is the happiness doing there? Pretty bad. Let's maybe just turn off taxes now, since we are going to be getting the boost from tax in Paris. And since this isn't being raided anymore, I think it's a good idea to start building the craft workshops. And that should again boost the wealth. Not sure about local fishery, I definitely want a trading port. Okay, so that's going to be most of our European movement done. We're still waiting for the cannons to be finished at Königsberg and then we can move out and attack Kurland. I hope they keep this army here because then we can destroy that and then move straight into Kurland. Over here, do we attack Amsterdam? I think that we do. Command the surrender. The siege is surrender lifted. accepted. Defending force has complied with your demands of surrender. I did not expect that to happen, but there we go. Job done. Now, ideally, what we're going to have to do is get rid of all of the extra buildings here. I think what's likely to happen is they're going to assault us next turn. We're taking Amsterdam that easy. Very nice indeed. Even though they had the reinforcements, I think because the defending force was so small compared to our own force, we got that surrender. Nice. Now, I don't think either of these armies can move past Amsterdam, so that works out really well for us. This commercial port's going to give us quite a lot of cash. I don't need to... Actually, uh, they are exempt from tax. Oh, we don't have to exempt them from tax, though. That's good. I really need to get this uh, presidential palace fixed up, though, at some point. How much would that cost? 2040. What, what else did we spend our cash on? It was these buildings, wasn't it? I guess we were just going to be sitting there for a while anyway, so there's no rush to, to fix that up. All right, so Amsterdam's now under our control. I think it's now time for yes, the battle against the Huron Wyandot. They are trapped. So they have a lot of armed tribesmen. These are all melee forces. They are not going to surrender. Maybe we siege them? I don't think we need to. We'll just fight it on the battle map. Let's go. So already made advances in this episode today, taking Amsterdam that easy was actually really nice um, because we're going to be able to use those defences against the Prussians, even if there is breaches, we do have some cannons, so that's going to be quite nice. Alright, so we have a lot of forces, I think the centre needs to be made up of our line infantry though and then on the flanks we have our militia now it might be worth putting the cannons up on this ridge here i'm not sure if we can put anything on this ridge but that will stop them from being charged so we can have the cannons up here which is nice and then we can defend either side of that ridge with our line infantry. I think I'll put line infantry this side. And then we'll put these guys like so. Sorry, 
What about these chaps? They can all go the other side. I'm going to reserve this spot here for Rogers Rangers. Right, then we want to have our pikemen probably on the flank here. We'll have my mounted tribal auxiliary on either side. And I'm probably going to keep my dragoons somewhere over here with my general. Which we're going to spread out. Start the battle. Right, best targeting their cavalry, I think, with the guns. So let's do that. Oh, wow. Native American lances out of nowhere. These militia have really short range. Wow. Okay, not bad. And we may as well target those cab since they're all bunched up. Oh, that shot that went right through the middle of their formation there was really nice. Well, they're mounted tribal gunners, so they're actually just going to sit there and fire at us, aren't they? That's fine. I mean, as long as my colonial militia are the ones taking the damage, we're okay. Maybe make these guys fire at some of the infantry coming in. Yeah, not a fan of those guys shooting through my own men. <laughs> we'll make sure to focus. Actually, we can target these Native American lances on the left side there. There we go. Do a bit of damage that way. Uh, those horsemen can come back. Good. And what's the range on the canister? These are armed tribesmen. These are the are these are the sort of militia forces. I'm not entirely sure. But one good thing is is that we will have fire by rank with these guys. been engaged here. It's gonna suck. Oh, that's quite a good canister there. Right, how are we doing? The arm tribes are running. These line infantry, I think, are going to be in trouble. I think we're okay in a sense that we probably want to take out this warrior society. Fire! 
know why we're just letting them throw tomahawks at us, but it is what it is. Go canister and take out those armed tribesmen. Locked to the right side here. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why those guys advanced, but they did. I'll let these guys continue to attack the medicine men here, that's fine. These guys have just about held back the Native American forces, that's good. Let's move these horsemen again. I don't want them firing into the back of my men. And sometimes it's fine because when they're on the same level terrain, they fire over the top of them. But at the moment, I think that it's not the case. Not sure where these chaps are going. So the militia are doing relatively well against the armed tribesmen. Look at them just standing there throwing tomahawks. They actually do quite a lot of damage with those tomahawks. But it's nowhere near enough. Get some more men in there. All right, we'll fire at those armed tribesmen. Smash those warrior society as well. Great. But they want to keep attacking me, but they just can't. We played this out pretty well actually. I thought we'd take a lot more damage, but this terrain has actually worked out very well in our favour, allowing these cannons to sort of sit on their own and just fire away with canister shot. Very nice indeed. I'm gonna have those mounted tribal auxiliary run some of them down so they don't come back again. We just want them all to rout at this point so that we can just end the battle. Hmm, how one of those guys died, I do not know. Maybe he got headbutted by the cannon when they set it off. Should be victory, surely. Oh no, there's some Native American lancers further back. Just go and shoot them. They should run. Or we can maybe hit them with the cannons. Not sure what the range is though. I don't think it's good enough. I'm going to put these guys on skirmish as well. Oh wow, there's more men. Way more men. Okay. Still gonna go for those cavs back there. I thought there was like a, a serious lack of men. I really expected them to just overrun me, but they just haven't. Oh wow, we're gonna get charged. Time to go. <laughs> we're just gonna run these guys back.
Right, we'll just use the wall of men there. And then we'll charge into them. There we go. That was their general, actually. So that's nice. Wow, I think I'm killing like half of my own dudes with those shots. Oh well. Friendly fires, nothing new. Surely they're gonna just surrender soon. I'm gonna stop these guys firing. These ones might just be able to get away with it. Maybe not. We'll turn them off. They can walk along my firing line if they like, though. That's perfectly okay by me. What are they doing? We don't want to get into range of the medicine men. Okay, well that's the medicine men dealt with. Get some of our horses to run them down. I think that's all of them routing now. We'll end the battle there. Heroic victory. Just how I like it. We've had quite a few heroic victories so far, but uh, that's 362 lost, and uh, they've, well, lost their entire army, 2,140, so that is very nice indeed. Raise the flag! It's going to give us this settlement, which I'm going to get rid of. And now we're set to move on and take back Moose Factory. So that's going to give us 466 per turn. Uh, Protestantism is pretty much already 100%. Um, next turn it will be anyway. And then we can move our agent, our Protestant missionary, over to Moose Factory. That's nice. Then what I'm going to do is we'll have the majority of the force come back towards the coast here. But we'll send like four units or maybe less actually, maybe just yeah, four units of colonial militia up to go take York Factory or something. Okay, that trade route's raided, that's okay. Time to take ourselves some galleons. That's just a brig. That's a galleon. Let's go take this galleon with John Leek. And then we can have this fleet go take out that pirate navy. Let's play this out. So what we'll do is something similar that I've done in Shogun, uh, like Fall of the Samurai, which was kind of create a blockade. Like I know we're attacking them, but we're actually downwind, so that that, that makes even more sense. Because I kind of just want all my ships to be like aimed at them. And we'll just obliterate that. Obliterate that uh, galleon. With all our fourth rates here. We do have one galleon at our disposal, which is nice. We captured previously. Not sure I really want to have it in battle though, because it needs repairing. Still pretty strong though. That's going to be our group. I'm just going to put them maybe onto a move command. I'm not entirely sure. Are they sailing towards us? I think they are. Maybe quite slowly though. I know, we'll keep it sped up. 
As for my sixth rates, I'm not entirely sure where I want them. I could just have them either side of this blockade kind of thing we got going on. I guess one thing that I have noticed is the galleon I don't think has as wide a spread on how far it can fire. But I'm hoping here that um, all of these ships, they stop bobbing about, it looks like <laughs> they have all sort of turned a little bit away from what I had originally intended. Maybe have them start to loop around here. Or maybe we could just do that and then stop them again. How would I stop them? I don't know, they're all playing bumper cars at the moment. A bit awkward. This could be a very bad idea, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. Not sure where that ship's going. <laughs> it's taking a wide corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really not sure. Let's just have this one stop. That one again can just sort of turn in. Start firing away. Same with this one. Same with this one. Same with this one. There will be so many cannon rounds firing into that galleon. That it, it will probably surrender before it even fires. I I hope that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Absolutely suicidal. I guess these pirates have nothing left to live for. Eh? So it's just like a halt button. The ideal. Okay, I think it's gonna surrender soon. Yep, they surrendered. Good. And that's another galleon captured. These galleons are great because they really help you defend like the Ivory Coast and any other trade you have. So I'm really glad I got another one. That's fantastic. Oh, it's interesting here. They're actually upgrading the port at Trinidad and Tobago. Alright, let's have these chaps go and take out this ship. And we'll jump in and fight this one as well. The reason I don't ever auto-resolve them, even though the auto-resolve bar is so far in their favour, is because I have been screwed way too many times from auto-resolve in like older Total War games. In newer Total War games, it's a lot easier because you can just click auto-resolve and it does the job for you, but in the older ones, it really punishes you for being lazy. It kind of can get annoying, but... I don't mind too much. That was deployment. I'm saying I'm probably going to do the same thing here, actually. I'm just speed it up. Like, maybe this will work? I'm not entirely sure. I should ungroup them as well. The 
the sails up so they get there sooner than later. Here they come. It is interesting how these ships just like bob about and they sort of lose their original course. Okay, well, he's pulled away from us. So, start heading in his direction then. We do have the wind, so I think we can make up quite a lot of ground early. Turn off that ship again. We're going to fire away with that one. We have our Indium in here as well. Doesn't have many guns, if any, on that side, but I'm sure we'll go for it. I've managed to avoid my flagship which is quite something. I'm not sure the guns are on this side. I think the guns that are active are on the other side. They must be. Otherwise they would have fired a volley by now. Oh, they're going to surrender soon, surely. guns from the Indiaman. It's a little brig. <laughs> it really is putting up a fight. Even with barely any cannons left. There's another cannon gone. Alright, my big guns are getting on target. Oh, damn. That is where it's at. Get some persistent fire on that. Alright, let's end the battle there. Not sure if that's going to mean that we captured the ship. Probably not, actually. Just means that we sunk it, but I don't think we're going to capture a brig, so that's fine. Also, lots of traits gained. Plus one command at sea when attacking. Uh, we got plus one to command when commanding ships of the line. And this man has good grasp of naval tactics. He's a confident admiral. Okay. So that is... A few more pirate ships dealt with. We probably need to take care of this galleon at some point, but I'm going to leave that up to John Leake here, I think. I am, this turn, going to move these guys back to port and fix them up. These chaps can probably go aggressive towards the Spanish here, so we're going to do that. I don't want them raiding my plantation. It's rather rude of them. What else do we need to do? Jump into our lists. Always the easiest way. Not making an attack out of Amsterdam, which we t which we took. Um, our cannons, we're waiting for them to finish. And Madrid, we're not moving anywhere. However, it'd probably be a good idea to maybe fix up some of these troops. Because they are going to be defending there for a reasonable amount of time, both against rebellions and the Spanish themselves. That, guys, has unfortunately been my time. So this is where we're going to leave it. Been a pretty damn good episode. Took Amsterdam, took a couple more pirate ships. Well, destroyed one, took another galleon. And, uh, yeah. We're getting quite a lot of income in the end turn now. 5,587. To wait in the next turn to see where that money's going to go, though. 
that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.